Hello my fishing friends, welcome to another 4th of July uh, task. This time fish tag coordinates 3. What do we need to do? We need to catch historic Colorado golden trout using the revolutionary craw. Catch historic cutthroat trout using bison spinner 9 grams 1 0. And catch historic brown trout using 13 arrows deep runner 6 meters 3 0 hook. Alright, these I already catch. This one I need one more, and I'm gonna catch in the video, of course. Um, these two, the historic cutthroat trout and the historic Colorado golden trout, we both catch them at Rocky Lake. Uh, at the same fishing spot, we just need to change the lure. Um, I still use my uh, Jig Winner 270, that's 6 kilograms. With my Bremer 4500, also 5.9 kilograms. The line is braid 0 0.15, 6 kilograms. Fluocarbon leader 0 0.45, 11.3 kilograms. It's a little heavier. And of course, this is the one for the brown trout that we are going to catch at Falcon Lake. But first, we are going to Rocky Lake because there we are going uh, to catch the cutthroat trout using uh, the bison spinner so let's do the bison spinner on it let's see what it is i think here somewhere bison spinner where do you see it guys spinner 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 grizzly bison spinner nine grams so there he is so let's go to rocky lake and i'm going to show you guys where i catch them it's not too hard i catch them all in one uh, in-game fishing day so it didn't take me that long uh, we are going to fish over here this is a spot fantastic fishing and that's what it is fantastic fishing so let's go we're almost there guys bear with me and in the meantime uh, a lot of you guys watch my videos, but you don't subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel And if you watch a video like the video, please very important for the video and for the channel So thank you for that already. All right I go to this corner and here you see some markers and those two markers That's the cutthroat Trout at Rocky Lake with the bison spinner. So watch how I catch the last one that I needed and then I'm back with you and I'm gonna share the time and of course, the markers. All right, welcome back. So, when did I catch them? At what time? Well, I catch them in this day, even in the morning, and here in this peak, I also catch them. I think you will also catch them here, but it wasn't necessary. I started at this day and I catch them all. So, very, very nice. Uh, this is the same time I also catch the Go Colorado Golden Trout. So, it's exactly the same. The only difference is that we need uh, a jig head. Where is it? Here. I use the jig head 7 grams 2.0. That's over here somewhere. The 7 grams through 2.0. This is what I use with the revolutionary craw. And that's this one. 5 centimeters. So this is what I used. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the markers of the cutthroat. So here we go. We need to zoom in a little bit here. This is the first one. Historic cutthroat trout. In the early morning, minus 27.03 at 15.49. And the second one we have here, minus 18.62 at 15.93. Alright, that's about the historic cutthroat trout. And now we are going to talk about the Colorado golden trout. Watch me catch the last one and then I'm going to share the markers with you guys.
All right, welcome back. Marker time. So here we go. Those two markers are historic Colorado golden trouts. This one in the evening, that was the, the late peak, because this I catch as the second fish. Uh, minus 7.64 at 21.27. And we got another marker of them here. Historic Colorado golden trout. Also in the evening, 0 0.59 at 23.22. And this I catch, of course, in the evening. Oh, one second. Because I fish this day. And in this peak, I catch those, the Colorado. So, yeah. Guys, we go to Falcon Lake to catch the brown trout. So, see you there. All right, welcome at Falcon Lake. And here we're going to fish for the brown trout. And we're going to fish over here at the trout lair, at the boat, where the boats are. So, let's go. And then I'm going to show you. I go for a little, little walk. It's not far. I'm not going to get tired. It's just over this little hill. All right, here we go. And this is the place I want to fish. And I throw between the rocks and the vegetation in the water. You see here, between this, for me, was the best spot. So I'm right back with you guys when I catch the last one. And then we're going to see what we got. And of course, I'm going to share the markers with you. All right, we got a fish on. Let's hope this is the historic brown trout that we need. The way it's fighting, I think it could be the right one. Uh, what I forgot to tell you guys is the fact that we needed to change our lure, of course. We needed to put on the 13 arrows deep runner 6 meter with a 3 0 hook. So that what that's what I did and that's where I'm fishing with. Uh, if it takes too long this fight, I'm going to skip some time, of course, but... We will see. All right, I think he is tired and he is coming. And this is the last one that we needed. Historic brown trout, we got him. It took a little time, but we got him. So let's keep this, let's check what we got. And then we are going to check the markers, of course. So let's keep it and let's see what happens. Rewards, historic fish tag. Thank you very much. Mission accomplished. Awesome. Looks like these coordinates lead to Falcon Lake. Alright. So we will go in the next video to Falcon Lake and search for the canoe and another part of the sword. So see you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget thumbs up under the video. And if you didn't subscribe yet, subsid consider subscribing for more videos. So tight lines.